Today, Hello ENC is going to clink and drink at Tarboro Brewing Company, which is putting Tarboro on the map as a must-see and taste destination in Eastern North Carolina. We're here with Inez Rubastello, the owner of Tarboro Brewing Company. Thank you so much for having us today. Thanks for coming. So what are some fun, unique characteristics of your establishment that people can get excited to come and partake in? We have everything from pop-up farmer's markets to bring your own vinyl night. And this space is massive. It is so big. So what can people do with the space? Well, one of the things that I think is really unique about this space is it's set up for team building retreats and conferences. So we have many groups, for-profit and non-profits, who will rent out the space during a day, a weekday. They have free Wi-Fi, they have huge chalkboards to you know, put down their ideas and collaborate. They'll get lunch catered and they'll just use the space, not just for like actual working, but team building retreats. So love, love, love that, that we have the uh, ability to do that. Inez, so we're in the fall season. So what is one of your top seasonal beverages? Oh my gosh. Uh, I think all of our favorite here at the brewery is our Ock Tarboro Fest, Ooh. which is a, a fest beer, a Vienna lager that um, we just uh, feel like we are in love with. Yeah. Um, so in love with, Megan, that we create an event called Octarboro Fest, which Ooh. will be on the 1st of October, where we block off the street, have the little German band. We have tons of different German style beers. But yeah, that beer is, is pretty special. And the can uh, art was designed by an ECU uh, alum student in the School of Design. That is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And I gotta ask, what's the one beer on the menu that brings people back ye like year round all the time? that people can't get enough of. Sexy Canoe, Ooh. which is our uh, German style light lager. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, one of those beers that uh, it's all malt, no corn, 3.7%, and uh, you can drink your weight in it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and if people want to be able to bring your beer home, can they do crawlers or growlers, or where else can they get your beverages? So almost every single tap is also in package, so they can uh, take anything home in four packs or six packs. Amazing. We also do growlers. Um, and then we're just uh, distributed in North and South Carolina. I will mention that we just um, debuted this year our uh, first non-alcoholic beer wow. that we are contract brewing for a friend of mine who lives in Charleston and that's called SIBO. Mm -hmm. And um, we've got a couple of accounts in Greenville who are carrying it. So people are looking for, if they're sober curious yep. or they just choose or choosing not to drink right now, we have um, one of North Carolina's only craft NAs. Inez, I see that there are some medals on on the wall so are you a winner of something uh, well TBC is a winner of our delicious beers I can brag because I just drink them I don't make them but Franklin um, is a master of his craft um, those are medals from the North Carolina uh, Brewers Conference um, which is a competition held annually um, and then there are also awards from Can Can which is a nationwide contest for can for exclusively canned beer Inez, if people want to know more about Tarboro Brewing Company or they want to stop in, where can they go for more information? Yeah, check out our website at www.tarborobrewingcompany.com or on Instagram at Tarboro Brewing Company. Well, it's great to see how the craft brews here are putting Tarboro on the map and make sure to pull up a bar stool every week at Hello ENC to discover new spots to clink and drink.